Okay, let's talk about basic probability. And, uh, you know, you don't have to be taking a math class to be interested in probability because probability is one of these uh, things that we're surrounded with, just like percentage. You know, when people talk about, uh, when am I ever going to use this math in real life? Well, you can't, you know, walk outside or look at anything without seeing this symbol. We're talking about sales or interest rates and everything else. You're seeing this percent symbol all day long. You probably even, you probably don't even realize it. Same thing with probability. Uh, just think about it. You watch the weather forecast. You know, there's a 70% chance of rain. Then you watch the news, and they say there's a 30% chance of a recession. And then they'll say, oh, well, here's the lottery. You'll have uh, this much chance of winning the lottery. So when you uh, when we're talking about the word chance, we're really talking about probability. But uh, what I want to go over is some really basic foundational concepts of probability in a little bit more formal way. But I think you'll find this very interesting. And if you are um, actually formally uh, studying probability as part of any particular course, maybe algebra or algebra two or any uh, particular course, oftentimes, especially in a high school or college level mathematics, they'll cover some uh, little bit of probability. And I think this is going to be appropriate to those of you who are studying probability at that level. Now, you can certainly um, be taking a full probability uh, course, uh, like a statistics and probability course. That's much more advanced. So, um, but even if you plan to take one of these courses, this will be a good introduction. It's not going to be that long at all, but we're going to have fun, and anyone uh, is going to be able to learn uh, what I'm going to be talking about here. Okay, so don't feel like you need to know a lot of algebra or whatnot. Not at all. So in a couple minutes here, after you get done with this video, you'll be somewhat of an expert in basic probability. So I'm going to get to all of this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, that can help you pass your course if you're taking any exam that has math on it. So for example, the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, HiSET, TASC, uh, ACUPLACE or CLEP exam, uh, teacher certification exam, maybe a nursing school entrance exam. You get the idea. There's a ton of exams out there that people have to take for all sorts of reasons. And generally, there is a math section on those exams that can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, I have a very comprehensive homeschool math curriculum. And um, if you don't have math notes, you really need to start taking great math notes. This is really the secret to mathematical success. I've been teaching math for decades. Those students who take great math notes almost always end up doing very, very well, and the opposite is true. Uh, so if you don't have notes right now, don't panic. You can use my notes. I'm going to leave uh, links to my math notes in the description of this video. All right, so uh, we're going to get started here, but I want um, those of you out there just to think, how much do you... Uh, believe, you know, you know about probability. Okay. So if I asked you just, you know, one or two sentences to define probability, what would you uh, put? Okay. Put your answer in the comment section, just in some informal uh, description or definition of probability. So somebody came up to you and said, Hey, what's probability? What does that mean? How would you define that? But we're going to get into this precisely. And this is generally the way probability is defined, okay? So the probability of an event occurring, okay? We could uh, we typically write it this way in math, P of the probability, kind of like a function, P of, uh, of uh, an event or probability of an event occurring is the number of times an event could occur over the total possible outcomes um, of that particular, um, uh, what's surrounding that event. Okay, so let's just kind of look at this definition in a more, uh, use a practical example. So here you can see I have my nice little quarter here, and uh, we have heads on this side and tails on that side, okay? So let's talk about the probability of getting tails, okay? Now everybody's going to say, uh, you know, oh, there's a 50-50 chance, but let's just kind of formally uh, define this. Okay, so the probability of getting tails with, now we have to kind of define this, you know, that we have a fair, you know, a well, a extremely perfectly balanced uh, quarter, you know, it's not a trick coin or nothing like that. So yeah, okay, we'll make that assumption that we're playing the fair game of heads and tails. So the probability of getting tails 
Well, we get to find that um, formally as saying, okay, tails can only happen one way. Okay, if I flip that coin, uh, the only way tails can come up is one way. Okay, it's got to land where we can see the tails. However, what's the total possible uh, number of all outcomes? Well, there's two possible outcomes. You can either get a tails or heads, right? Heads or tails. So uh, for the probability of getting tails, there's one way that can happen. Okay, so that's our numerator. And the total possible outcomes is two. Okay, so the probability of getting tails is one half. Now we can express this one half as a percentage, and we typically uh, do that with probability. So uh, the probability, again, of getting tails on uh, flipping a quarter is one half or 50%, okay? So typically most people say, oh, you got a 50-50 chance. Again, we're using this word chance, right? And we're talking about uh, probability. All right, so now let's go ahead and kind of build upon this and uh, talk about probability. Well, probability uh, technically is a number that spans from zero to one, okay? And you could think of it as zero to 100%. So if you have a probability of zero, that means that something can never happen. So what would that be? Uh, let's take a look at an example of that maybe. Let's say I had a jar and I had red and green marbles in that jar. And I said, what's the probability of pulling a blue, a blue marble out of that jar? Well, there's no blue marbles in there. Okay, so there's zero blue marbles. There's no way that can happen. So there's a 0% chance of you ever pulling a blue marble out of that jar. Okay, now on the opposite end of the spectrum, if we get a probability of one, that means it's absolutely certain to happen. So for example, let's use our jar again. And let's say the jar has just red marbles in it. And I said, what's the probability of pulling a red marble out? Well, it's 100%, right? Okay, you're going to always uh, pull out a red marble. So yeah, and this is a basic concept of probability. Okay, it's 0 to 1, but typically we like to express probability as a percentage. Okay. All right, so again, this is just basic probability concepts. But let's go ahead and... Uh, Look at something kind of interesting here, all right? Let's play that game of heads or tails, everyone's favorite uh, game. And I want to talk to you about a theoretical probability versus experimental probability. So now you're saying, hey, wait a minute here. You're giving me two different probabilities? Well, yes, I am, okay? And this is very, very important. So what we've been talking about so far is theoretical probability, all right, so let's go back to our heads and tails, uh, our little quarter here. And again, uh, let's uh, look at the probability of getting tails, okay? So uh, most people are going to say, okay, what's the probability of getting tails? Well, you have a 50-50 chance or one half or 50%. Okay, we kind of covered that. But uh, what we really were doing there is uh, using theoretical probability. It's what we expect to happen from a mathematical standpoint, right? But is there any guarantees when we flip that quarter that in fact we're going to get this 50% of chance or 50% of the times? Well, not necessarily, and that's where experimental probability comes into play. So let's take a look at an experiment. And let's say I said, okay, let's do a quick experiment here. And let's uh, play this game four times. Okay, we'll do four flips. And on the uh, first time we flipped this, we got heads. And we're like, okay, no big deal. Probably the next time it's going to be tails. Well, you flip it again, guess what? Heads came up again. You're like, mm, okay, what's going on here? Uh, maybe someone's cheating. No, we got a nice little perfectly balanced uh, quarter. We flip it again, we get uh, heads again. Now, how many of you guys have played um, some sort of game like this where you're like supposed to get a 50-50 chance? Of, some, of winning and you're just not winning, right? <laughs> Everyone has been there. But then here we flip on our last try uh, and we get tails. You're like, oh man, right? That was kind of like a long wait, uh, long um, wait to get tails. I expected to get this every other time, 50-50 chance, right? Well, this is something called experimental probability. So if I run an experiment um, to see how often I get tails with this quarter uh, flip, the probability here, I got tails one out of four times, okay? So I have a 25% chance. Based upon this, I'm like, wow, maybe I only have a 
of getting tails. Now, from a mathematical standpoint, we expect to get tails 50% of the times, or one out of two uh, times, but from an experimental standpoint, you know, with these four trials here, I'm only getting uh, tails 25% uh, of the time. So what is going on, all right? Well, this can be resolved by this concept here, and this is something that's super important in terms of uh, resolving experimental probability and theoretical probability. It's called the law of large numbers, and I'm just going to give you a really informal way to think about this, but effectively it says this. The more the experiment is conducted, okay, the closer the experimental probability will get to the theoretical probability. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, let's go back up here to our little uh, experiment. We only uh, did four flips, okay? What happens if I do 40 flips, okay? I did uh, 40 uh, experiments or 400, okay? Well, the more flips you do, okay, the closer this experimental probability is going to get to what we expect, okay? So this is the whole idea of the law of large numbers. So effectively, if I was going to play this head or tails game and we uh, did a million flips, well, about almost precisely 50% of the time you would get tails and about 50% of the time you would get heads, okay? That's something that we can definitely almost count on but we have to uh, apply the law of large numbers. So if you're um, only doing a few trials, it may not turn out the way you expect uh, from a theoretical standpoint, but over the, a large number of trials, then yes, the, your, your experiment will get closer to what you thought it was going to be from a theoretical standpoint. So, you know, when we're talking about probability, you know, it's not a perfect, you know, science in terms of what you actually get in real life, right? And that's where I think, you know, uh, you know, just let's think about what happens in real life. You know, the, the chances of the rain happening is 70 percent. And then you end up, you know, uh, you know, let's say this is Friday. It's supposed to be 70 percent chance of rain. And guess what ends up happening? It's nice and sunny. And uh, everyone goes, boy, those weather forecasters, they don't know what they're doing. Well, listen, probability, again, is not a perfect, you know, absolute guarantee that we will understand um, you know, what's going to happen in the future. It's just given us the best idea. But uh, probability is an excellent, excellent um, part of mathematics to get interested in. And of course, this is just the, the basics of it. But even if you're not taking a um, math course, and you're just interested in basic probability, hopefully you learned something with this uh, quick little video. And if that is the case, please go ahead and consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic to advanced mathematics. My goal is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. Everyone can learn mathematics. Of course, you got to do your part. You got to work hard, take, take good notes, talk to your teacher, ask questions, study, et cetera, et cetera. But if you do all that, you could just do just fine in math. But if you need additional instruction and you like my uh, teaching style, I have a ton of content on my channel, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.